It says 21 shares Ripple XRP ETP, not ETF. That isn't a typo. It's called ETP, Exchange Traded Product. Interesting way how they, they labeled it a product, right? Because it was exchange traded fund. Was well, it too early for that in which maybe the SEC could go after it? I don't know. But it is interesting. The focus is Europe. So SEC can't really go after Europe to a sense, depending on how things are labeled and whatnot. So I don't know. My thought was interesting. I thought it was interesting. Let's talk about this for a second. This ETP, exchange traded product, allows exposure to the asset without directly owning. Interesting. Because you want to know something? See what you want? I think Will Fix was talking a little, a little bit about some of this stuff. So look at this. The underlying asset, believe it or not, for the, this ETP is kept in cold storage and is not traded in public markets. So what is this? Well, caught my attention. Caught Mike's, right? This is 21 shares is the name of the business, and it's actually called AXRP. And then, you know, you may be thinking like, oh, great, you know. I'm for it. I'm not. Whatever the case be, I'd be paying attention to it. any type of opportunity, whether you're raw, raw, raw XRP or not, still worth paying attention to. So you have these examples here, and it talks about 21 shares Ripple XRP ETP as of November 21st. So this is something that's not like, you know, came out like a year ago. I mean, this is brand new stuff. Any more into this? You do see this. Uh, hopefully it's big enough on your screen. If it's not, I'll blow it up a little more. Yeah, I'm going to blow it up a little more if you can see it. But guys like Boomer F and Sooner on his couch, right? I always use that example. All right. So this is nice and a lot bigger for you. In fact, I'll come out of frame on this one just to give you guys a little bit more emphasis on this instead of my mug. Um, yeah, let's take let's uh, come out of the frame. All right. So you see here 21 shares, Ripple XRP, AXRP, which is what? It is a... ETP ticker AXRP seeks to track the investment results of, of course, XRP. Talks about securitization. 21 shares ETP is accessible like stocks on a major exchange with no special setup needed. Simplicity, plain vanilla structure with performance directly linked to uh, Ripple without leverage. And then how about this? There's collateralization. 21 shares holds the underlying crypto assets in... Apparently, from what we saw earlier, you know, it's chopped off, uh, I guess, cold storage. All right, getting more into this, let me take you to the next page, what we have. And on this one, I'll also bring it on over here. Check this out for a second. So you have this whole thing of underlying assets. Look at this. Um, as of November 21st, coin entitlement. 28.92 and some change. XRP is 100% reference price, 60 cents. So it is referencing the current value of XRP. All right. Then you got this thing here, AXRP 2.27%. We'll jump to this next part. And let's see here. There's more about it from Chad Steingaraba. Let me pull this on over to this other page as well. All right. So you got this GXRP from ETC Group, ETC Group Physical XRP. There's this ticker for that different one, not AXRP, but different one, right? Um, even has the address if you want to look up the ISIN on it. It says buy XRP just like an ETF because a lot of us are putting so much emphasis on Ephesus, excuse me, on like spot ETFs. Remember the fake news about an XRP ETF? So it says buy XRP just like an ETF, and you have an investment objective. Looking to buy XRP through your regular securities broker or bank? Think about this, guys. This is big. I think it is. ETC Group makes it possible. This XRP exchange traded product, ETP, is 100% physically backed giving you seamless and pure exposure to the performance of the XRP token of the Ripple Network while trading on Europe's largest stock exchanges. I'm telling you, telling you flat out, I think they did this on purpose and especially, you know, made the focus in Europe. That way, like something like the SEC can't go after it. I mean, doesn't that make sense? And, and instead of be calling them, you know, you know, excuse me, exchange 
traded fund. We call it an ETP, probably because, you know, the definitions that we have over here in the United States. So at the end of the day, if you see things like this, and it's more focused on Europe. I mean, realistically, can the SEC go after something like this? I don't think it can. I think it's done, again, on purpose. Let me see if there's anything more about this for a second. Um, there is. Give me a second. Let's pull this up. There's, of course, advantages about all this. Let's take you to this next page. All right. So it says, yeah, there's advantages in regards to all this. It trades like an ETF. Interesting. Again, back to the whole thing of GXRP, not AXRP. Buy and sell like any stock or ETF through your regular broker or bank. No new account needed. Okay. Wasn't aware of that. Just enter the ticker or ISIN on your trading platform. Cold storage custody. The XRP is kept in cold storage, like I mentioned earlier, at a regulated custodian, and all assets are secured by an independent trustee. Now, that part, I would, I would like to know who that independent trustee is because, let's face it, I mean, you know, got to know those things. Thus, eliminating issuer default risk. Look at this bottom part. 100% physical. You are legally entitled to the underlying XRP, and you can redeem the ETP for the cryptocurrency alternatively to selling on exchange. Like, I don't know. I mean, maybe this is a real big new thing. All right, let's take you to the last part of this. I'm going to blow this up as well. Let's see if you can see it. I'm sure you can. All right. So you have this again from the ETC group, XRP Holdings, Total Holdings and Cold Storage. This is just an example. Um, name XRP, symbol XRP. Shares outstanding. 148,900. Cryptocurrency entitlement per unit, 14.526 and some change. Some of these other things, right? Percentage of net assets, 100. Hmm. All right, give me a second. And then I guess there is a little bit more. So I do want to get into that for a second. Yeah, there is a little more. I think this is the last part of this. Let me just double check. It might be. If it ain't, it's almost. So Chad has a little bit more in regards to this. Um, he says, basically, exchange-traded product, ETP, if you're wondering, like, when's this going to come out? It's going to come out in December. Quote, the introduction of the Ripple XRP ETPs by Valor is a significant expansion of our product offerings, said Marco Infuso. All right, let's see what's up with this. Let's blow, blow this up as well. Comes from Yahoo Finance talking about it. Technically, when? Earlier today, 7.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Interesting. Let's share this with you if you can see it. You can. Guys, I think this is a big deal, personally. Personally, I'm just going to call it, but, you know, maybe you already know about it. But for the ones that don't, let's listen along. DeFi Technologies, Inc. announces upcoming launch of Valor, Inc.'s Ripple XRP ETP and other corporate updates. Again, when? Earlier today. A little bit more about it. Launch of XRP ETP. Valor plans to introduce a Ripple XRP exchange-traded product on a European exchange in early December, expanding its range of digital asset investment products. Now, before we get more into this, I just want to state this. This is three examples already. Do we start seeing more examples in regards to this? I think you will. So there's that. Let's see if uh, Mr. Steinbrogger's got a little bit more for us. He does. Let's share this tab instead. Come out of the frame for a second. All right. So you see here, investment access and expansion. Hopefully I'm on the right one. Yes, I am. <clears throat> Ripple XRP ETP will allow investors to gain exposure, of course, to XRP, the native cryptocurrency. Yeah, we know that. Uh, how so? Through banks or brokers, meaning the growing demand for di uh, diverse digital asset investments in European markets. 
I love how they just put so much emphasis on European markets. I mean, at the end of the day, this probably is written up to be an ETP for these specific reasons for nothing could come after this. And that's brilliant. I, I actually like this because, you know, I hold Ripple's XRP and I'm, I want to see them get around to anything that they can to not have the stupid SEC get involved. Valor continues to prioritize product innov excuse me, innovation and development, and it has plans to list additional traditional and physically backed ETPs in the coming months. So if that's the case, it's not just going to be Ripple. It's going to be other ones. Who will be the other ones, right? And I guess we'll have to pay attention to that. Um, there's more about this. Um, Brian Dowie, you're in Toronto. Check this out. This is the company or DeFi Technologies <clears throat> reported earlier today state that crypto native technology company that pioneers the convergence of traditional capital markets with the world of decentralized finance, DeFi, is excited to announce that its subsidiary, which is Valor, a leading issuer of exchange traded products, ETPs, that provides some simplified access to digital assets plans to launch a Ripple XRP ETP on a European exchange in early December. So, I mean, it's just another outlet basically giving us the same info. That's cool. All right. This is the last part of it. Um, I, Yeah, this is the last part. I just double checked. All right, so let's pull this up on the other screen. All right. Hopefully you see this. You do. Look at this, guys. The introduction of Ripple XRP ETPs, according to Yahoo, Yahoo Finance, Finance, excuse me, by Valor is a significant expansion of our product offering, said Marco Infuso. He's a chief sales officer, CSO of Valor, quote, adding XRP to our suite of products caters to the growing demand for diverse digital asset investments excuse me, in European markets. These ETPs provide European investors with access to leading cryptocurrencies aligning with our commitment to democratizing and pioneering the digital asset market for traditional investors. Who knows? You know, we're talking about finance democracy, data democracy. Will we see, for instance, a Jasmine ETP in the future? I'm just throwing that out there. Ripple XRP is a key player in the digital currency space known for its use in facilitating rapid and low-cost international money transfers. Listen to this, guys. Operating on RippleNet, XRP serves as a bridge currency to Ripple's payment network, allowing for seamless currency exchanges worldwide. Has positioned XRP as a preferred choice for financial institutions seeking efficient alternatives to traditional cross-border payment methods. So in the future, do we start seeing on Valor? You know, like, I don't know, other ones are part of some of these TradeFi to DeFi bridges. Do you start seeing Stellar? Do you start seeing Nexera? I mean, those really stand out. We have some Nexera coverage for you tonight. But anyway, thought I'd bring this to you guys. We'll have to continue to follow it and uh, see what happens in that regard. And for some of you guys that are overseas and so on, um, maybe look more into it for yourself. Let us know, you know, how difficult it would be i mean obviously after december comes around and so on um you know i think uh everybody is wondering about some new things this is one of the new things yeah.